Hi, it's Mayor Mike here. I'm standing outside the Greg Moore Youth Center and there's a really special reason why I'm here today. So let's go inside and talk about it some more. So here we are inside the Greg Moore Youth Center. 20 year anniversary. Pretty amazing place. Does a lot of amazing things for youth in our community. I'm here on behalf of council to thank everybody for what they do here and to introduce you to some of the people and uh, services that uh, this facility uh, provides to our community. celebration. It's the celebration of a life. It's the celebration of an example of leadership that we can all follow. Uh, Greg Moore's life is a beacon uh, in terms of what we can do when we set our minds to do something. 20 years flies by. Let's take a look back at some of our early beginnings, the programs we ran, how we've evolved, and other things that have changed in our world. When you walk into the Greg Moore Youth Centre, immediately to your left, you will notice a display case full of awards and achievements that we've received over the years for facility excellence, program delivery and youth leadership. We will not rest on those laurels and we will continue to provide the best opportunities possible for youth in our community. The Greg Moore Youth Centre was named after a local hero, Greg Moore, a race car legend that passed away in 1999. And through the years, the Greg Moore Foundation has donated close to $200,000 to youth in our community. And we could not be more thankful for all their support. Twenty years later, unbelievable. Hundreds of staff have come through our program to help shape and support children and youth to take responsibility over their own personal learning and health. 20 years ago, I was a young youth worker at the Greg Moore Youth Centre. I absolutely credit that my time there as laying the foundation of my career. From a young skate rat volunteering to build skate ramps to a successful family and businessman, none of it would have been possible without the support and encouragement that I needed to bring my visions to life. We worked at YOI in the early 2000s. The Youth Centre was very special to us and it impacted our lives in a lot of meaningful ways. We met a whole host of wonderful people and we made some long-lasting friendships uh, with not only the staff but some of the youth that we've had the privilege to watch grow up into some pretty incredible people. I was there 20 years ago when the Greg Moore Youth Centre opened its doors and the work has been everlasting. I know that investments in youth have a ripple effect that lasts generations. Today's youth are tomorrow's leaders. They're tomorrow's business owners and parents. And it's important that we create a positive, long-lasting foundation for them. As a youth, I was able to volunteer towards bringing the Greg Moore Youth Centre to fruition. So being able to work there as a youth worker was a true full circle experience for me. Every day, I was able to fulfill my passion of helping others and seeing youth reach their full and unique potentials. From personal and professional growth to lifelong relationships, the impacts of working at the center on my life are infinite. I can't tell you how often I put on my youth worker cap in raising my own children to bring them, in hopes, the same level of love, care, compassion, and respect I saw youth workers bring to work every single day. So I uh, just wanted to wish everyone congratulations for the last 20 years here at the Greg Moore Youth Center. It's been quite the journey. Um, had the honor of being here on day one when it opened 
and uh, over time seen how the program has really grown and flourished and seen a number of youth come through these doors and gone on to do some pretty amazing things in this community or elsewhere. My first introduction to the Youth Center was when I was 12 years old. From there, I was able to volunteer all through high school. I've been here for 26 years and had the privilege to create my career here living and working in the community of Maple Ridge. Deeply rooted in our philosophy is the emphasis on the process rather than the outcome. This starts with our program continuum, where youth that are non-participants, they become participants, volunteers, leader, and eventually employable. This helped build a culture that we can all be proud of. The importance of our continuum is something that I experience on a daily basis. Many of the youth who join our programs at 12 or 13 years old end up becoming staff themselves and are now mentoring the next generation of youth. The reason this is so important is because an adult who once experienced the benefits of this program can now share that, which creates a strong sense of ownership and a drive to share these experiences with today's youth. This program changed my life. The Greg Moore Youth Center impacted me by connecting me with nature and uh, connecting me with my community. The Youth Center impacted my future by giving me the confidence to work with the public, which I do today, as well as building lifelong friendships. The Greg Moore Youth Center was an incredibly important place. It provided a place where I felt safe, I felt seen. I am who I am because of the love and the care that I was shown and given when I went to the Youth Center. Going to the Greg Moore Youth Center sparked my passion for volunteering and community. I've been coming to Greg Moore just recently and I really enjoy it because of all the friends that I can make and it's just a really good time. Happy birthday, Greg Moore Youth Center. My name is Clint Gamash, and I've been at the Greg Moore Youth Center since 2001. So many things have changed both inside and outside the center, but the one thing that stays consistent is a youth voice and making sure that we program with youth instead of for youth. Some of the traditional programming that we've offered over the years is still continuing to this day. Loon Lake, Holiday Dinner, Shredshare Stokes Skateboarding Contest, our Youth Meet Talent Show, as well as our five-day hiking trip up to Lake Lovely Water. Even some of our day-to-day -day games, such as Fireball, could turn into something special. It's fantastic that we have such an innovative facility here at the Greg Moore Youth Center that we can still offer these programs to youth 20 years later. We have now three generations of people attending our program. That's amazing. Over the last 20 years, we've made a commitment to youth and the community to offer programming seven days a week, four hours a day, 349 days a year. Some of the important work that we do at the Greg Moore Youth Centre has involved the implementation and employment of initiatives surrounding the Maple Ridge Youth Strategy. This has allowed us to implement barrier-free and adaptive programming for youth, by youth, and the community at large. Youth are the future. They're the ones who are going to shape what this world will look like. We as staff have the responsibility of fostering their creativity. Give them adventure, experiences, giving them a chance and a place to exceed and grow. I've personally experienced how leadership, volunteerism, and positivity can set youth down a path to success. 